Hello children! Today we are going to watch a video about school bus safety. Safety means being sure that nothing dangerous happens. The things that we are going to teach you in this video are very important, so be sure to pay close attention and listen very carefully. First, we want to show you how big a school bus actually is. School buses are very big. A regular sized school bus like this one can be as long as a dinosaur, like T-Rex. They are also as long as three cars put together and as tall as two cars stacked on top of each other. School buses have a lot of lights on them. They also have a bunch of mirrors and a cross arm attached to them. This is important to know, and we will tell you why in a couple of minutes. For every school bus, there is a bus driver. There are men bus drivers and women bus drivers. The main purpose for your bus driver is to get you to school and back home safely. Bus drivers will help you if you get hurt. They also talk to you about problems that you might have. And bus drivers check the bus every day to make sure it is safe for you to ride. And that is why you should always listen to your bus driver. It is their job to keep you safe. Now let's listen to this bus driver as she goes over the rules for riding a bus safely. Good morning, everybody. Today we're going to go over some of the rules to ride a school bus safely. When you're entering a bus, you want to make sure that there's always a driver on. When you get on the bus, you want to grab the handrail, go to your seats immediately. If you have a backpack on your, ba your back, you need to make sure that you take it off, place it in your lap, and keep it there. We want to make sure that we keep our hands in the bus at all times. We're not going to eat or drink anything on the bus. We're going to use our nice, quiet voices. We're going to keep the aisle way clear, and we're always going to make sure that we follow the driver's instructions at all times. If you have a problem, please make sure that you notify me immediately, and I will do my best to correct anything that might be happening. Be sure you follow all of these rules anytime you ride a school bus. Next, we will tell you what the danger zone is and where it's located. Now that we've gone over the rules for riding the school bus, let's look at the areas around the bus. Notice these cones? The area inside these cones is called the danger zone. You must always stay out of the danger zone. There are danger zones all around the bus, in the front, in the back, and on both sides. Now let's look at the bus from the top. This brown area surrounding the bus is the danger zone. Inside the danger zone, there are two areas called the most dangerous zones. You never want to enter any of these areas. When you enter or leave the bus, you want to avoid walking through the danger zone. Always walk around the danger zone and not through it. Watch these kids as they leave the bus. Notice they walk straight out of the bus and they walk past the cones before they turn to continue down the street. They did a great job. They did not go through any part of the danger zone when they left the bus. When you are at the bus stop, it is important that you stay out of the street. Like we showed you earlier, school buses are very big. That means it takes longer for them to stop. That is why you should never run or play in the street when you are waiting for the bus. As the bus comes toward the bus stop, the bus driver will turn on the orange flashing lights to warn you and other vehicles that the bus will be stopping to pick you up. When the bus stops, 
The flashing red lights turn on, and a stop sign with blinking lights folds out near the front and the back of the bus. These lights are telling the people in cars to stop and not pass the bus. Once the bus is stopped, it's safe for you to get on the bus. The bus driver then checks their mirrors, and once it's safe, the driver will open the door and let you on the bus. And when entering or leaving the bus, remember to walk around the danger zone. Do not walk towards the bus until the doors open. Next, we will show you how to cross the street. If you need to cross the street to get on or off the bus, the bus driver will help you by letting you know when it is safe to do so. When you leave the bus, walk straight to the sidewalk and just to the right of the cross arm. When preparing to cross the street, make sure you are clear of the street and outside of the danger zone. Make eye contact and watch your bus driver very carefully. When it is safe, the bus driver will point and wave you across the street like this. Walk in a line to the other side of the street. Do not run when crossing the street, and do not stop until you have reached the other side. Continue down the street until you have made it safely home. Always remember to pay close attention to your bus driver for the OK to cross the street safely. Here are a couple more safety tips for you to remember. When you leave to catch the school bus, make sure to allow yourself plenty of time. School buses are on a schedule, and if you are not at the bus stop in time, it will leave. Be sure to never run next to or chase after the bus. Now take a look at this. This girl is chasing the frisbee under the bus. The driver looks in the mirror and notices what she's doing. She tells the girl that it's always unsafe to do this and to never try it again. Ivy, stop! Don't ever go under the bus. If something goes under there, you come and get me to get it for you. Now please go home. Get it for you. Now she reminds the girl home. that the last place you ever want to be is under a school bus. Remember, this is part of the danger zone and it is very unsafe. Okay. Now it's time to go over some of the important safety issues we've learned today. It may seem like a lot of rules to follow when you ride a school bus. And that is completely true. But the reason there are so many rules is to keep you safe every time you ride a school bus or walk to or from the bus stop. Let's review what we learned today. Okay, let's see how well you listened. Do you know what this brown area surrounding the bus is called? That's right, it's the danger zone. And should you ever be in the danger zone? No, that's right. Wow, you're good at this. Okay. 
We know how to make eye contact with the bus driver before crossing the street, but how do you know when to cross? Right again, when the bus driver points and directs you to cross the street. And finally, a school bus can be as long as how many cars put together. Perfect! It takes three cars put together to match the length of a school bus. Great job! You listen well. We follow the driver's now take what you have learned today and make sure to follow the rules. Listen to your school bus driver and most important of all, stay safe. Goodbye. Safety pledge. Every day I ride the bus, I'll follow rules, not make a fuss. I'll listen well and I'll be safe and keep my bottom in its place. I'll not eat food and not be rude. I'll be good, just like I should. Because when I'm safe, I'm being smart. I'll always be safe. I cross my heart. <laughs>